Hi, and welcome back to Who Intense Crafts, where wings fly free just like our imagination. So for today's video, I'm going to attempt. <laughs> and I say that because I haven't had um, an iced coffee in a while. And so today I had one and <laughs> I'm a little bit hyper, which is crazy because caffeine usually does not make me hype. And all of a sudden I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Um, I'm going to try to show you a little bit of the Cricut. Um, this is the Cricut Design Space. So when you get your Cricut, you get free access to the Cricut Design Space. Well, not totally free. You get free access to the Design Space, but there are like templates and things like that, that if you pay for, like, I think it's like $10 a month, you get a whole bunch of things and yada, yada. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I do my little things for my purses. So here is my stitch. I added little flowers yesterday to it. Um, so we are going to be doing this part today, but we're not doing stitch. We are going to be doing Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Boy, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> um, I have this really cool black and white faux leather and it's striped. And right away when I saw it, Beetlejuice popped in my head. And I thought, oh my goodness, how cool would that be? I am so into characters and character bags and, you know, shirts and things like that. I've always been that way. I love characters and creating things, you know, based on like themes. So I just thought that would be so cool because I know a whole bunch of movie buffs who love like, you know, the thriller movies and Beetlejuice type movies like that. So I thought, you know what, that'd be really cool to like post up. But I am planning on doing some, you know, simple, pretty prettier things and stuff like that oh look now I can really see the design of this oh I just love that but I just thought it was so pretty with the flowers um I cut this out on the Cricut and then I put it together with those they're called rivets haha <laughs> I remembered rivets and look how cute that looks so we are going to be building <clears throat> Oh my gosh, I apologize. Every time I start talking, my voice wants to go out on me. Ever since COVID, it like acts weird. So anyway, we are going to be building um, the middle template. Alrighty. So it's really easy in the beginning. Like once you like get it, you're like, oh my goodness, that's so easy. Um, so for the first part of, I'm going to show you how I go about building like my middle character. So that's going to be, Beetlejuice and then later on we'll print it well not print it all out but we'll cut it all out and put it together and then you can see you know step by step that way all right so I went into my um my tab and I just typed in Beetlejuice black and white images I'm going to tell you why that's important here in a second you want the black and white images so that way you can build your colors. If now you can look up a Beetlejuice picture, let me type in Beetlejuice real quick for you. Well, we know what we'll just we'll just do this right here. Okay, so you see stitch, for example. You can what's called print and cut. So you can print him out on um, there's printable principal sticker paper, there's printable vinyl, and it it's a sheet, like a um, a paper sheet that goes in, that fits perfectly into your printer. You can print out any image and any design that you want on there. And then um, your Cricut tells you what to do. So it prints out, prints out like these little um, grid marks on the side. And then your printer, I mean, your Cricut will read it and cut your image out perfectly. So it will come out exactly like that um, if that's what you want. But I am doing the layers. So for layers, you really want it to be black and white. So that way you can add your layer colors and really build it and everything else like that. Alrighty, so right now, like I said, I already Googled my image of Beetlejuice that I wanted. Um, and so it's this one right here. I'm going to click on it. And it's going to pop up. Now, if you can see, let me try to zoom in for you a little bit. Can you see that good? It has a background, which is just white. You want it all to be this right here. So it's going to be like, um, 
I forget what it's called, but I want to show you. So you're going to go to simple. Now, if you had um, an image that you were going to print and cut and it had like multiple colors, you would want to go to complex. So that way all of your colors stay right there since you will be printing and cutting versus layering with the vinyl. So we're going to simple. And then all of a sudden it just, you know, it didn't use so many colors. It just did two, which would be the black and the white. So now we're going to go to continue. Now you can do this by hand, which down here says select. And you can go over and select, um, you know, where to remove. Sorry, my boy and my girl needed me. <laughs> so like I said, you can go over here and you can click it. And that will like remove the background or right here it just says remove background and you click that and then it will remove all the background images for you. So now we're going to do apply. Now it gives us two different versions. One is the print and cut. And this, just like I said, it's going to be the print where you print on your computer and then cut it out through um, your Cricut. Or this one is going to be the cut image. So the cut image means you do not need to print. It's going to cut that vinyl out or whatever material that you are going to be using. And it's going to cut it through the Cricut directly. So I'm doing the print and cut. We're going to click upload. And there we go. Now I'm going to add this image to canvas. It's going to come out really big, which it did. So right up here are your like your sizes. I'm just gonna put five inches. Uh, I'm gonna shrink that down just a little bit. I mean, you could make it bigger or smaller, but for right now, so you guys can see it, I'm shrinking it. Alrighty, so now we are going to start building the layers. Oops, I did not mean to shaky shaky you. I'm so sorry. So now we're gonna be building the layers for this design. Um, we are going to click on this up here. It says offset. What that does, it gives you like a nice little background. So, um, let me grab my stitch real quick while that loads. So right here, you can't really see it, but behind stitch was just like the black outline of his whole entire body. So I did that and that would have been the first layer. Then the second layer would have been like the blues, you know, and everything else around him. You really want that offset so that way you have something to put your vinyl on top of. Let me just, I'm going to, I like it to be as close to the image as possible. So I'm going to just, there we go. So you see that? I just moved it down and now we're going to click apply. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of wonky stuff once it loads up is it going to load up or is it going to do that oh. okay let's see why did it do that all right let's do this again we're going to click offset again there we go and then we're going to click apply there we go now you can see it so now we're going to move the top layer and you can see how it lines on there perfectly but we don't want all that weirdness in the background going on we want it to be a solid so we're going to click this part right here and we're going to click on contour contour allows you to get rid of all those tiny small pieces um and change it up quite a bit so right here You can see like all these little small pieces. Now you can click one by one if you want to, or right here you can click hide all pieces. Show all um show all contours or hide all contours. And what is what uh, <laughs> what that is going to do is it's going to hide all of these small pieces and leave you with the largest piece. And that's what we want. We want the largest piece. You don't have to click OK. You just click exit and see right there. It gave us a solid piece. Well, almost solid. And then when you layer him on top, you have your background. So this would be your leather. 
So that's going to be your first layer. You need a foundation layer, and that's what we made with the offset, our foundation, to layer on him. Alrighty, so he, this layer right here could be white or whatever you want it to be, but since his body is white, it's going to be white because the majority of him, like right here, is all white and that's showing through. I'm going to make the background white. And since his outline's all black, that's going to be the vinyl. So when I put that on top of the faux leather, it's going to really look good. So you can see right here, up here, you can change your colors. There's my white. Now you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about, how he pops. See? And it looks like himself. But his hair is green, so I'm going to attempt to color some of his hair. So we're going to move this over. We're going to click on him and we're going to duplicate. Now this is how you create your layers when you duplicate. You duplicate, <clears throat> so sorry, and you click contour. Sometimes it takes a little bit while to load up all your pieces. Just be patient. Let it load up because if you can see, he has a lot of small little pieces on him. So now I'm going to hide all contour and it's going to leave this really, really, really big one right here. I don't want that only because that's one whole piece. So I'm going to come in here and start clicking some of these smaller pieces. And you just move your mouse around to it highlights and then I can undo that one. And I'm not going to be able to do all of them because, like I said, see this one? It goes the whole way down to his shirt. So I won't be able to do that one. But at least I'll be able to do the majority of them, which I'm totally fine with. It's still going to look really cool. I wish I could do this one and this one. But since it goes to the shirt, it's going to look really weird. All right, now we're going to exit out of this and you can see right there how it just has the hair. So I'm going to make that green. And if I layer that on top, look at that. Now you have his green hair sticking out. Now, he has, I mean, this is pretty simple layers. The stitch was a lot more layer and I will show you that in a second. So you can see, but he, since he's pretty much black and white, except for like, you know, the little bit of green that he has in his hair. I mean, he does have green right here around his, like his sores around his mouth, but I'm not going to focus on that. I'm just going to do, like I said, a little bit of the green in his hair here and there to give him his character and like, you know, pop him out a little bit. But you can do whatever you want. If you want to do more, then you could do more. I will show you what it looks like when we do the long pieces because it goes through his shirt. So let me just load that up. And like I said, sometimes it takes a little bit. If you have like tiny little pieces, like a whole bunch of them, it will. You got to make sure this side loads up. Otherwise, you'll mess your thing up. Come on, there we go. All right, so I'm going to click this one, and I'm going to click this one. Now, this one goes to the shirt, and so does this one. But just so we can see, yeah, see, it covers the whole shirt, and that's not what I want. See that? Now, there is a way to fix that. We can go into our paint, and we can erase some of the lines that connect and make it white. And by doing that, it would allow us to have his whole hair be the green and not um, attached to a shirt. So I might do that. I'm not sure. Let me go back to contour and remove those two that I did. But I might do that. That's, you know, it's up to you, your preference, what you want. If you want a little bit of green in his hair or, you know, whatever you're working on, it's up to you how you want to do the layers. I'm going to show you. All right. So it was this one and this one. But I'm going to wait till that loads up. I don't want to mess it up. So, um, 
I will show you my Betty Boop or my stitch so you can see the multiple layers and how I went about in doing that. Alrighty. There we go. See, I do like that. I like how it's just a little bit here and there. So I might just keep it like that. I mean, I don't know. I'll think, I'll, I'll like think about it. <laughs> Alrighty, let me save this real quick. I'm going to say this as Beetlejuice. Do I have... Oh, I don't. Whoops. And I love that it lets you have, like, collections. Like, I have stickers. You know, Jeff, um, that's my husband. He has... <laughs> he is so excited with this. He has me making him, like, new shirts every day. Stitch markers. I have my crochet. <clears throat> Uh, keychains and then there's earrings and stitch marker cards you can make so many different things in this like oh it's so beyond what I thought it was like this is why I'm not like trying to tell you to buy a Cricut but if you've been really been interested in the Cricut like I have for years and years I wanted a Cricut but then I thought well what would I really do with it it just does paper crafts you know I didn't really want to get into like scrapbooking I mean at the time when I had my daughter I did and my son but I didn't really want to like, you know, get into scrapbooking. Um, I did here and there, but I didn't want to go like above and beyond like these other people have done, which are amazing at it. I just didn't want to like, I don't know, throw myself into, you know, all of that. I kept thinking like, well, what, what would I do with that, you know? And so that's what turned me off from the cricket because I just thought it was about that. And then when... um. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So then when people started making like the cups and the um, uh, T-shirts and other things like that, I thought, oh, that's really cool. You know, like I can make my own tops, you know, all the owls I wanted <laughs> with my sayings on it. Or I can make like cups for us and everything. My husband, he is a huge Atlanta Braves fan. So I could do like tons of Atlanta Braves things for him or like the kids, they have their little things that they love. I can like you know, do those things. So that would turn me on a little bit more to the cricket. And so then I thought, oh, that's really cool. But then I saw all the cool things, you know, like above and beyond things that you can do. Um, I mean, I started making, I don't know if anybody else has been making purse templates like I have. I mean, I'm not trying to say I'm the only one. I just haven't noticed in the YouTube world, um, that I just came up with it thinking, oh my goodness, you know, from the wood template, I could so do this. So that's where I came up with that a little bit. But um, you can do wood, you can do, you know what I mean, you can make earrings out of cardstock. I saw so many YouTube tutorials on how to do cardstock earrings, which I thought were so freaking cool. I started doing that first, and then I started getting into the faux leather, which I love so much better um, for me. You know, the cardstock is really, really cool. But for me, I love the faux leather more. But anyway, um, there are so many things that you can do. Uh, it just blows my mind of the things that you can do on here. And so easy. And I think I mentioned this before. I can sew, but I'm not like the best. You know, like I wish I could do like my own little bag, um, project bags and things like that. Um, if my mom was around, she kind of... She, could have taught me. She was an amazing sewer. She would sew wedding gowns. She actually sewed my sister-in-law's wedding gown. And I did the hand-stitched beads on it. Oh, I wish I had a picture. It was gorgeous. But, um, yeah. So, I, that's something that I wish I could do. But I could do your, you know, typical mini sewing projects. Like, lining the bags and things like that. But, with the Cricut, you can actually measure out the material. And it can cut it for you. Which I love. Love, 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 love. So it does so much more than just paper. Ugh. This is just the best. And it, like, really gets me, like, itching again to crochet. Not that I lo lost it, but I love making my bags. And now I'm, like, even more excited to make my bags because now I have a way to add my characters that I love and things that I love to the bags in a whole new way that brings that crochet to life. Like, I just love how it pops the crochet even more. Like, yeah, of course, when you see the bag, you're going to see the character. But look how it really brings the crochet out and makes them more than just handmade. You know what I mean? 
maybe you don't. Maybe it's just me being crazy. But it really, to me, pops it out, brings that crochet to life. And you know what? It takes it out of the so-called box people put um, handmade crafts into. You know, like, they're cheap or they're granny. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like, it just makes it so much more special, I think. All right, I'm rambling. So I saved this. I'm going to go to new. And I'm going to go, to, well, I'm actually going to go to my projects. Got lots of little projects here. Um, You know what, let's do Marie. I'm making the, oh, darn it. Oh, wow, well, it's okay. She can see. I'm not going to say a name, but I'm pretty sure she's going to know. <laughs> We're going to customize. Alrighty, so this is Marie. Now, this Marie, I did not, oh yeah, I did do the layers. So over here, you can see all the layers. There's the white. Let's ungroup real quick. So here's the white layer. Here's the back, and then here's the pink, and then her eye. So she was pretty simple, whoops. She was pretty simple too with her layers. So I'm gonna show you how we did the layers. So I'm going to go to new. We don't need to save. We're going to replace. I'm going to go to upload and we are going to click on Marie. So here she is. Let's lower this down to three. There we go. Now we're going to hit duplicate. And when you do duplicate, like I said, you're able to um, build your layers. So now we're going to do contour. And right here, you can see. Now, this one, unlike the Beetlejuice, because she's um, fully connected, like she doesn't have any cut spaces like he did, like, you know, he had open spaces, you will, you don't need to build your offset. You already have that. So I get to hide on contour. And look, it gives me my back. So that's my... That's my base. That's my foundation layer. Now I'm going to duplicate again. Now some people like do multiple duplications. I go step by step to each one that I need. So then I don't get confused. Now we're going to go to contour again. Now we are going to start doing her body. So I'm going to hide all contour. Now we get the big part again. And I'm just going to go around and start clicking on everything that should be white. Her tail, her her little paw paws. And you just want to be careful when you get in all that. There's her ear and then her hair right there. Now, it's going to give me this. Oops, I forgot to clear out the bow. I'll show you right here. Let's clear out the bow. Clear her nose. Alrighty. And oh, I got to do her ear. So you, what I'm trying to say is you want to clear all this out and get it white. And then that would be the layer that you would put like on top of her to show that. And then you would build it again and again and again and again. Like, let's do one more. So what I'm just trying to show you is how you start creating your layers. So let's do the pink. I'm going to hide that big one and I'm just going to select everything that should be pink. Alrighty. There we go. And then you go over here and you click pink. Now it, you don't have to, you can keep it all black, but oh, another thing is you can send it front. So sorry for rambling. You go over, left click or and then you just move it to the front so that way you can see your layer. But there you go. There's the pink. So that was your one layer. And so then you're just going to keep building it, building it, building it. And that's how you get your multiple layers. Now there are, um, on Etsy, if you don't want to do this, like you don't want to create your own, you just wanted to already have it made for you you can go into the etsy and um there's already 
um, tons and tons of images, Disney and everything of images for you that are already there. Now the SVG is different than the layer. The SVG is like print and cut and then there are the layered ones. So when you Google it, do Cricut layered images and that will pull up all the layered images for you and then you can just go there and you know it would already be done for you so when you upload it to your thing all your layers will show here and then when you go to make it i don't have it plugged in or anything but then it will go layer by layer so over here you can see it does the white layer then it does the black layer and then the pink layer it just shows you like what colors um to use for each thing you know how you want to create it your own and things like that um so yeah, you don't have to build it your own. You can go on Etsy and most of them are like $1.35. Some of the, the highest ones maybe could be like $5, but you get a bundle of them. Uh, I did Twilight for my daughter. I bought the bundle, so that's how I know. I, I'm not going to say I didn't buy some. I did for the kids. They wanted, uh, like my daughter, she's huge into Twilight. So I did Twilight for her. And then when I started learning that I can make it myself, that's what I'm doing now. I'm starting to like make it and create it myself. I done Betty Boop by myself. I did the, the one stitch um, by myself. And now I'm doing Beetlejuice. I did my Maleficent. Ursula, like all the earrings that I did, I did that on my own. So, yeah. Um, it And it's really easy. Like, I'm pretty sure I probably confused the heck out of you. And I apologize. I'm the worst when it comes to explaining things. I'm more of like a hands-on person. Like, if you were here, I could like, okay, this is what you're going to do. And like, show you so much better in person. But... It's, it's really hard, <laughs> but I hope I at least showed you a snippet of what to do and how to do it and how much fun it is doing it. Like, oh my goodness, I'm pretty darn sure I made it look so complicated. It's not. There are other tutorials out there that are so, I mean, beyond way <laughs> better than mine. Um, but this is just a little start to get you like that oomph to see like, ooh, this is really cool. And it is, it is so beyond cool. Um, what I love about this, like, say you have an image of a family member or, you know, um, whatever, an image of your dog that you want to put on a t-shirt or you want to make a purse or, or, you know, what's really cool that I just told myself to do today. I love making graph hats and graph hats have like, you know, like I did my Star Wars one. I did a pug one. Um, my owl one. I've done other ones in the past. Um, Gears of War where I knitted the graph onto the hat. Well, I've always wanted an embroidery machine, but I've never gotten one. Um, I just thought like, well, I don't know. It's like the cricket whole thing. Like, what would I do with it? I would only do patches, you know, like here and there. But you can make your own patch. Like, I only have the stitch beside me. I, I apologize if I keep showing the same one. But you see this, you can make this a lot smaller and you can attach this to your hat. How cool would that be? Like, oh my goodness, your crocheted hats or if you're a knitter, your knitter, knitted hats, it's a knitter hat, <laughs> knitted hats. Um, and you're not good at like the graphs, like, you know, adding graphs or fair isle. I love fair isle knitting, but now I could do like the words. Like, I could do, like, the forces with me, or I could do Ohana, Ohana, Ohana all the way around the hat, and I can have stitch and have, like, this stitch or another stitch in the middle or Lilo or whatever, an owl, you know, and you can make your own little um, leather patch and put it in the middle of your hat or wherever you want it to be on your hat. That is going to be a game changer this winter. I'm going to tell you that much right now. I'm so stoked. Mm, that's weird. I never said stoked in my life. <laughs> First time for everything. It's the coffee, I swear. So I'm so excited to do this. Like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And you know how, like, I do my amigurumi, my unicorns. And for my unicorns, I always give them what I call a cutie mark. And, like, I'll have, like, a heart or, like, little diamonds or gems. I can do that with the glitter. Well, they call it faux leather. But it's like glittery material. I could cut a heart out now, put that on my unicorns, and then I can add like little things around the side of it. Oh, I'm so excited. You have no clue.
Like, my mind seriously goes crazy at nighttime. I'm up. I, like, try to fall asleep. And then all of a sudden, I'm, like, up to, like, 3 in the morning because my mind's racing with all of these things I want to do. And I have to write it down before I forget. <laughs> but um, I already mastered, well, to me, mastered how to do my amigurumi eyes out of felt, which, oh, I'm so excited for. The felt and the vinyl because I love giving character to my critters that I make. And so now I can do that without painting it on, which I did before. I can just do it with um, the Cricut and, you know, cut out my, uh, vinyl and cut out my, um, felt, you know, fuse them together. And, oh, I'm so, 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 so excited. So, uh, yeah, can you hear the excitement? <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, there's so many things you could do with the Cricut. If you are like me and you were like in limbo with, should I get a Cricut? Should I not? Here are some, I mean, I, again, I'm not telling you to, <laughs> I'm just, you know, if you're in limbo about it and you're like indecisive, like, oh my goodness, should I get it? Would it be a waste of money? Would I use it? You know, I love crochet. This is so for crochet, for knitting, for so many things. Like it has truly been a game changer for me for in so many ways. And I'm so freaking excited. And I'm so thankful for my Mr. Hoot that got it for me. I mean, like I wasn't even like, I, I didn't even, like, talk about it with him. He just knew, like, I wanted it for years. And the next thing you know, he's like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I was shocked. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> but I was so, 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 I'm sorry. I keep, whoops. I'm on my bed. And I didn't, it was really sunny in the office, in my office, in the craft room. And I don't have a curtain or blind yet. I'm trying to make one. And, um, yeah, it was blinding me. And I thought, well, you know what? Let me come in here and doing so I'm shaky shaky and I apologize I do not want to make anybody seasick so yeah so the next video I'll show is we will be cutting out my you know my little design we'll figure out how I'm going to do like the back and everything like that and then placing them together gluing them on oh my goodness okay let me tell you something and then I'm going to get off of here I promise <laughs> I was watching a video yesterday and um it was like it was with the faux leather and something with the faux leather was like I don't know she was gluing them together or something and she didn't say hot glue she said was it like hot melty glue or melty glue you take your melty glue melty glue or something and oh my goodness it irked the crap out of me <laughs> And I feel so bad that I was even irked about it, but it irked the crap out of me. Instead of saying like hot glue, like I'm going to take my hot glue, I'm going to take my melty glue. I was like, oh my gosh, like how can you not say hot glue? Like it says hot glue, hot glue, hot glue, hot glue. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure I probably irk you with things I say and I apologize. Let me tell you something. I irk myself sometimes re-watching these videos. I'm like, why did I say that? Why did I do this brain? Why did you leave me? Like, but oh my goodness, it was so crazy. Yeah, that is my rant. Oh, you know what? Let me add on to that rant a little bit. I know you can't see my face. I'm so sorry. I haven't learned how to flip the camera yet. So anyway, right? Um, let me see. No, I haven't learned how to flip it. <laughs> I thought I did. So anyway, um, my mom used to watch all these cooking shows, right? And she used to always watch Rachel Ray. Ah, Rachel Ray's voice always irked me a little bit. Not irked me in a way, but it was like raspy and it bothered me. But I really liked the cooking show. Like some of the things she would make was like really, really good. But then she would say EVOO, -O, which was totally fine. But then right after she would say, okay, I'm going to use EVO, extra virgin olive oil. And that irked the crap out of me. Like, okay, first of all, why shorten it if you're just going to elongate it? Like, why are you going to say EVOO if you're just going to say extra virgin olive oil? I get it. Not everybody's going to know what EVOO is. But then say, today we're going to be using EVOO. And that is, that's shortened for extra virgin olive oil. So that way you don't have to say it twice. Like, oh my goodness, that bothered the crap out of me. I don't even know why. Like, why did that bother the crap out of me? <laughs> oh, man. I tell you, that's my rant for the day. I hope that's the only one. 
I need to stay away from coffee. <laughs> I was doing so good. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh, my goodness. I want a, a caramel macchiato so bad. I need an iced coffee in my life. Should I do it? And then I did it. And, yeah, this is what happens. I get hyper. Well, I didn't even know I was going to get hyper. I got hyper out of nowhere, which was weird. Because <laughs> I never get hyper with um caffeine or anything. It does the opposite for me. Every time I drink, like, something caffeine-ish, it mellows me out. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm not really a hyper person. But it mellows me out. And I, like, want to pass out, like, fall asleep. My my abuela was the same way. She would always drink, like, coffee to go to sleep. And my dad would always say, who does that? And then here I did it. And he goes, you just like your abuela. And it was, it was crazy because I'm the only one in the family that gets like that, can drink coffee. And it knocks me out instead of wakes me up. So, yeah. Alrighty, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so very sorry if I don't know how to explain things. I really, truly tried my hardest. Um, I'm, like, again, I said, that I probably complicated this more than, you know, made it easy. <laughs> but there are tons of other videos and tutorials out there for you that, like, step-by-step -step show you each thing and how to do it. Um... And it's so easy to do. And again, if you don't want to do this process, go on Etsy and you could find so many of the SVGs, which are the print and cut files. And you can also find the layer files. And they're so cheap. And a lot of, but I am going to say this. Make sure it's legit. <laughs> I got one um, when I didn't know how to do the Disney ones, I ordered this Disney pack and it was like 6,000 Disney SVGs or layers or whatever. And it was like for so much money and I got it and it was a fraud. So, um, fortunately for me, I got my money back. Um, you know, I talked to Etsy and you know, they, they refunded me. So I was very thankful for that. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, just there, I didn't even know there could be frauds on Etsy. Like, I even said to her, I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't even realize there could be frauds on Etsy, but apparently there is. So just be careful if you're going to be looking for those files. Make sure there are tons of people giving great reviews and comments about it. Um, you know, you just don't want uh, that to happen to you. I would hate for that to happen to you. You know, I can understand a dollar, but I think that was like $30 for that big old bundle and I didn't mind buying it because it gave you like so many of the Disney characters and I was like yeah I get to do Disney shirts and whoop whoop you know everything I get to do but I didn't get to do it so that's okay um now and if you need if you would like something you can always message me and I'll be more than happy to create it for you and send it to you um you know I mean I would do it for free of course so you can just message me if, or if you need help, I can hopefully try to walk you through it a little bit better, but I really do hope that this video was helpful. Um, and again, if you would like to purchase the Cricut, I'm not affiliated, even though I should be as much as I brag about the Cricut. <laughs> I'm not, I promise you. Um, but, um, Klarna, K-L-A-R-N-A, -A, it gives you the chance to buy now and pay later. I mean, of course you do have to do a little bit up front, which is like, I think it was like $25, not for the cricket, but, um, I did like a, I do like a lot of yarn, uh, get a lot of yarn that way. Um, what else did I get? I forget what I got. I got something for the kids that way. But anyway, you could do buy now, pay later, and then they take out every other week. Um, yeah. So then, and then you you could build up more of your Klarna credit if you need to. So I think the first initial balance is two fifty, so they match two hundred and fifty dollars, and then, you know, so uh, and the cricket is up there to two hundred and something. I forget how much. I don't even know how much it is to be honest with you. But I will say, make sure you get the right cricket if you want to do everything on your cricket. You want to get the cricket maker or the cricket maker three. Not the Cricut Joy. I know it's smaller and cute and could fit everywhere. It does not do everything that the Cricut Maker or Maker 3 does. There's not really a big difference between the Maker and the Maker 3 except for um, 
the Maker 3, you don't need to use a lot of the boards, the little um <clears throat> sticky boards that like hold your fabrics down to. They have uh for the vinyl. <clears throat> so sorry. Uh what's it called? Ooh, not premium vinyl special. I forget what it is, but it's like a thicker board where you can just slide it right into your Cricut Maker 3. Not the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Maker 3, but I had the Cricut Maker. I don't need the three um, because I do a lot of felt and material and things like that, which you need the boards for. So, yeah. Alrighty, so that's enough of my rambling on and on and on. Um, I hope you all are having a hooterific day. I truly do. Today has been a, a, a lot easier for me today. The sun is shining. It is still freezing cold, but I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm not so achy, achy. I've been trying to like get myself going. And so I thought, you know what? While well, I'm in a good mindset, let me do this video. And then later on, I will do the other video and show you, um, how I do my templates and things like that for the round part of my purse. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The idea that I have for this Beetlejuice bag, I really hope I could bring it to life. <clears throat> it's not going to be your typical, my typical round bag that I did for my Betty Boop or my Stitch. It's going to be a little bit different. And I truly hope I can knock it out how I can envision it. I'm not going to say it until it's done because then my mind will like, I don't know. I just want to, you know, I don't want to like jinx myself, I guess what I'm is what I'm saying. I don't want to like say I'm going to do it and then I can't fall through and do it and I end up just doing a round one which hey, they're pretty cool I think I mean I'm not trying to like toot my own horn and be like oh I'm just saying I really love round bags um I think they're so cool but I do want to do some <clears throat> I'm so very sorry I swear my voice just hates me some days <laughs> but I do want to do some like regular little bags and things like that so I am so excited I really am really 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 am oh and you know what else you could do you can do your vinyl your um iron on vinyl on acrylic yarn i've done it and it does not melt the acrylic yarn you just want to do a low setting so that's another video that i will show you um how to do your iron on vinyl onto your acrylic yarn because so many like if you make a baby blanket instead of stitching the name on you can iron on the name and it stretches you, there's stretchy iron on and then there's regular iron on which the stretchy one is made for like t-shirts and you know things that you want well that will stretch out like blankets or a baby sweater or a baby hat or even your hat you know you can put on your hat like whatever you want it to say um <clears throat> so yeah Alrighty, again, <laughs> I know I said to you before, I'm off of this thing and yet I kept going. I am gone now. So I truly do hope you like this video. I hope it helped. I'm so very sorry if I was shaky, shaky again. I'm on the bed, so I, I truly do apologize. I don't want to make anybody nauseous. Um, if you have trouble, again, message me and I will do my best to help you or if you are in it you know you need you want me to make a character you can say hey could you do this for me and I will be more than happy to do it for you I truly would be I love sharing and you know doing things for people I really really do um and so I'll, I would do it I'll help you I'll create it the best you can you can tell me what colors if you want different colors like if you want Marie to be goth hey I'm all for it. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want. So, alrighty. Um, <clears throat> I'm gone. Oh, so sorry. I did not mean to the loudly clap in your ear. I'm gone. Who ins and out? Bye.